Hi everybody and welcome back to another screencast of Total OS Today. Well guys and girls, what I have here is the brand new Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Norwal Beta 2 just released. I recorded the session here off a USB stick. I wasn't able to do it in a virtual machine. It kept coming up. My system did not meet the hardware requirements to run. Uh, the Unity default session of Ubuntu 11.04, which is not true since I am running a dual core process. So I just thought I would transfer the file off the USB stick and do a narration voiceover of what I saw. And I'm running it, uh, I'm doing this in uh, Linux Mint. Let me just, uh, let me just full screen it. We'll go through this. All right, what we have here looking at the top is the default shortcuts for the top, the um, applets, although the one thing I noticed here, and by the way, Banshee, it's installed by default, no more rhythm box. Um, the red spot is just my desktop session recorder. What I noticed here at the top of the panel bar, you can no longer, uh, you cannot any longer right click and install an applet. applet or an application, a shortcut application. I really enjoyed using the weather application, installing it to give me an overview of the weather forecast. To the left is the Ubuntu logo. I guess as a Windows user I would call it the menu button or start button. This will bring up a nice looking black background of the what looks like the Genome 3 shell. This is the dock, the shortcut, I guess the Unity dock at the left. It kind of reminds me of the Windows 7 Super Bar. What you see on the screen here, to the right of that, are the uh, default uh, desktop icons, uh, excluding the external hard drive, the iOmega hard drive, where I saved the previous recording. To the left here, I'm just scrolling or just going down, highlighting the shortcuts on the Unity dock. This part was easy to use. The one thing I noticed, I mean, I know there are shortcuts to the left on the dock, but if I wanted to drag it and put a shortcut to the desktop itself, um, it wouldn't allow me. I found that somewhat annoying. This is the Ubuntu Software Center. Looks a little bit different, very pleasing on the eyes. And it came up with, there are four new recommendations for me including Abbey Word, which is fine, and three different text editors. Three different text editors, and I don't know why it would bring that up. I have no interest in text editors, but that's okay. Click that again, and way at the top is the search bar, and again here in the middle you have your default shortcuts. This, I really think this looks terrific. Very easy to use as a Windows user. You can just point and click to where you want to go, here I'm just highlighting these shortcuts. Looks like there's what eight of them, okay? And right there, I didn't. I don't know what happened. It just blanked out. But uh, or I may have clicked Firefox. I don't know. Can't remember. Okay. Well, here's Firefox. Of course, the default web browser, which is fine. I noticed the uh, menu buttons are on the left, which drives me nuts since I'm a uh, right-hander. All right, what you have here is the installed applications and uh, for media. And at the bottom is the applications available for download. And clicking that, say I wanted to install Genome CD Master from the previous spot. This is nice. That this brings up automatically the Ubuntu Software Center and download that piece of software. Again, as a Windows user, that's terrific. At the top, say I wanted to find something, you can just do a search for, say I was looking for the system monitor, I, I typed in MON, and it recognizes both of my CPUs and the memory that I'm using. It was using about almost 400 megabytes, which is somewhat hefty. <clears throat> Once again, it has the installed applications at the top and applications available for download. Again, very easy to use. You 
You know, there's there's been a lot of, from what I gather on the internet, there's been a lot of fuss about this, about how a lot of people, I think, hate it. And by the way, here I was trying to find calculator, and evidently calculator was not installed, really. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, talk on the net about, I think, how a lot of people really hate this. You know what? I'm not sure if I would install it, but this is really not that bad, at least in, you know, in my Windows eyes, the way that I see it. Here to the left, I noticed that the total applications uh, menu submenu is not in alphabetical order, which is weird. But that being said, I think it's still easy to use. Again, once again, the installed gaming applications at the top and the applications available for download at the bottom. Most frequently used, I did have to use the Synaptic Man Package Manager to download the desktop recorder. And here in the middle, and I think right there it's where it crashed. So let me see if I can highlight it again. I think I did. Alright, going down to themes and tweaks. In the middle where it says installed, you click, I clicked see 39 more results under installed applications. And very nicely, it brings it up. And I think this is an alphabetical order left to right. Again, this is fine. I, I As a Windows user, I don't have a problem with this. It is different than the previous genome menu, submenu uh, type of desktop session. So, you know, this is not that bad. I'm not sure if I would switch, but I, I definitely don't hate it. You know, this is not that difficult to use, at least not to me. So, and I think this black background and the shortcut icons is terrific. This is the uh, screensaver. By the way, on this desktop, you can, you can right click and change the settings. I just chose not to demo that. LibreOffice is installed by default. No more OpenOffice. I did download LibreOffice on one of my laptops. I will say I like it. I'll have something to say about that in the future. Yeah, this stuff, uh, to me at least, this doesn't look that bad. I mean, this, this, these main menu shortcuts just looks great. And Banshee is in there, no longer Rhythm Box. I thought Banshee looks terrific also. I'll have a review of this sometime in the future. Easy to use, at least from what I saw briefly. Let's see what else did I do here. Typed in media, searching for any media applications, and apparently it's just Banshee. At the bottom is just one of my folders for my external hard drive. Now one thing I noticed at the left, if you drag the dock up and down, it I don't know, it moves it, but it really doesn't do anything. At least none that I could see. Maybe I missed something. If if I did, let me know. You can move the order of the icons, by the way. Like this is the Ubuntu one shortcut. You can drag it to the top. Firefox, move that at the bottom. This was cool, I thought. and clicking there right click it'll bring up the menu submenu similar to uh, the genome the previous genome version of this or gnome version of this again once again applications available for for download so yeah games there Okay, well, there's just a couple of minutes of this left. Uh, one last thing here, I think I was demo, demo trying to demo is the um, snap function when you have more than one application on the screen. This is similar, this is actually a Windows 7 application, which, and now see right there, I moved it over to the right, and it filled up half the screen. For some reason, this function here didn't fill up, or this left piece of software didn't snap the way the other ones did. So let me just show you this one last thing and then I'll uh, then I'll end this. Okay I guess I think I got out of that. All 
all right Firefox again drag it to the right it doesn't go off the screen it snaps it to the middle drag this to the left and there you go half and half this functions nice again this is in Windows 7 which I like it also all right well this is it this is Ubuntu 11.04 unity by default beta 2 final release coming up at the end of the month I like the way it looks I'm not sure if I'm ready to take the plunge or the switch over to something different it does look good I think I'll wait you know three months or so a couple months and see what happens you know maybe install it in one of my machines and just take a look at it on a full install but running this off a USB stick was not that bad it actually ran pretty zippy so anyway that's it thanks for watching this screencast of total OS today on Ubuntu 11.04 unity edition beta 2 and as always guys and girls I will catch you sometime in the future. Thank you.